Hi guys, hope everyone is doing well. Everyone had a Hajj Sameg, happy Passover. Today though, more importantly, we're gonna make Passover kind of style dish that is very traditional at this time of year. I'm gonna make matzah bra, which is basically matzah, which is this, just a cracker and an omelet style thing. I'm gonna make a big frittata. So it's like the frittata I made before. I'm gonna start with some white onions, just sliced, some matzah, and some eggs. First stage, what we need to do is we need to get the matzah into the eggs. So I'm gonna whisk my eggs a little bit, not too much. Remember, I want that little bit of resistance for the potato. So I'm gonna break my matzah up on the board, just some nice small pieces. We wanna add the matzah to the egg now so it softens it slightly. So it's not too dry when we put it in the pan. So I've just got two crackers here. That's all I'm going to use. It's all going to go into the eggs nicely. And what's going to happen, it's going to be like the matzo ball. The matzo is going to drink the egg slightly and it's going to make the matzo slightly wet, okay? So, so I've got my matzo in. I'm just going to mix it with the egg like this. I'm going to give it a bit of time to soak. Just give the fork a little stab down in there. So if we've got some bigger pieces, it's going to break them down. But we want to have some bigger pieces, some little pieces. At this point, I'm going to add salt as well, okay? Just a couple of pinches. Just like that. We're gonna leave that for 10 to 15 minutes and then we're gonna come back to it. While we're waiting for the matzahs to soak to get nice and soft, I'm gonna caramelize some onions. So this is like a matz tartar, if you like. So it's like a frittata, but with matzah milk. Usually I will make with potatoes like I did with the pea one, but I'm gonna use matzah, okay? Matzah tata. So I'm just gonna put those into the pan, get the heat going. Get them a nice golden brown for lots of flavor. And then I'm gonna add them to the mats and the egg mix. Boom shakalaka. Oh, onions lush. Okay, the onions are caramelized nicely. They've been in the pan, they cooked down gently. I'm gonna add them to the eggs now. Okay, so I'm gonna gently just mix our onions through. Make sure they've got a good mix so they're not all clumped together because as soon as they hit the cold, the sugars are gonna stick. So if you just use the fork, just to move them around. At this stage, I'm gonna add a pinch more salt and then we're gonna to get to cooking. So I've got my oil and my butter. I'm gonna put that in a pan, just get a flame going. I'm gonna leave that on about a medium heat. So it looks like that, that's medium heat. I'm gonna melt the butter, have a spatula on standby and get a plate ready as well. And then we're gonna pour this straight into our pan, guys, okay? But this time I'm gonna treat it pretty much like an omelet, okay? I'm gonna get the egg mix inside the pan and I'm just gonna mix around like this, okay? We don't have to heat too high in the pan because we don't want to cook the eggs too quickly and it's going to help us to form a nice skin whilst adding a bit of volume to the eggs. It will make them nice and fluffy. Okay, so now we're starting to get a bit of air in. What's important is we take the spatula and really clean the edges. It's going to help us when we flip it, okay? You can see that it's starting to cook nicely. I'm going to add just a touch of salt and pepper at this point, just for some seasoning. Then we're going to get them ready to flip. We're going to give him about a minute to two minutes on this side. And then we're going to let him flip over. At this point, a nice low heat. We have the frittata that's been in the pan a little bit. What we're looking for is for it to be able to shake off the pan. If you're struggling, just take your spatula and go underneath very, very gently, okay? Just lift it very gently. Don't be too forceful with it and just give it a little shake off. Now to flip it, there's two ways we can do it. You can flip it in the pan like a pancake if you really want to try that, that's cool. The easiest way for me is to take a plate and all we're going to do is we're going to take it, put the pan on top of the plate like this and then we're just going to flip it over. Give it a little shake. Be very gentle with the pan. Oop, ah. And then we can go back in, okay? Quick shake in the pan and then back out. And then he's ready, guys, okay? That's a quick and easy breakfast just to use some eggs up, some matzo crackers if you've got some left. I add the onions for a bit more flavor. Play around with it. Add some peas, add some sweet potato, whatever you want. I'm just going to treat that like a cake. I'm going to slice some nice slices out of it and I'm going to enjoy mine with a bit of steak. Bye. And that is a quick and easy mas frittata con la para venir una matada. Ha, 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 ha.